Schulman on the drum. Mark Schulman has had a front row seat performing with legendary acts including Billy Idol, Foreigner, Velvet Revolver, Stevie Nicks, Cher, and Pink. And he is here to be your personal rock star. Get ready to rock! Please welcome Mark Showman. Hello, my friends. Everybody watching the Global Speaker Showcase. Listen, I am here to celebrate you. And nobody better to celebrate you than someone like me because I will be your own personal rock star at your service. Now, I've worked intimately with some of the most successful and inspiring musical artists on the planet, many of whom I call my friends. And I'm going to share with you what I call my greatest hits of information in the form of stories, performances, and business-relevant content that you can immediately use to supercharge your attitude behaviors and outcomes as we literally hack into the rock star attitude so I have one question for you are you ready to rock let's do this Woo! <laughs> Oh yeah, now it's your turn. I need a little bit of movement from you. Everybody, please stand up. Woo Shake it out. Put your hands in the air like you don't care. Put your hands in the air like you don't care. Or, 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 or. Now put your hands in front of you like, oh, I never thought of a good rhyme. Sorry about that. Anyway, please just put your hands in front of you. This is very simple. I want you to copy and do exactly what I do. Are you ready? Here we go. Okay, it's going to get a little more difficult. And a little more difficult. Okay, now we're gonna do a little interactive rhythmic process where I'm going to clap a rhythm and you are going to answer me with the same rhythm. It's gonna start simply, it's gonna get more complicated. It will be first me, then you. First me, then you. Me. You. Me. You. Me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Stop. Give yourselves a hand for participating. Okay, you've worked hard enough. You could sit down. Now, that was a performance. And as my 10-year-old daughter said very astutely when she was only seven, Daddy, we are all performing, even if nobody's watching, and it makes it more fun. And my friends, you could assume that viewpoint and have more fun, because that is the way that I live my life. Like, every activity is a performance. And imagine that every bit of verbal communication that you share with your customers, with your associates, with your family, that next phone call you're about to make, Make. That is a performance. And every bit of written communication, every email, every document, every tweet, that next text you're going to send, that is a performance. And today the focus is on the astounding qualities of the rock star performers. Because for rock star performers, there are no small moments. Every detail is critical. And the great performers also know that every single performance is not only a representation of what we do, but it's a representation of who we are. Are. And if you participated in that, you rock! And if you were having fun, unabashedly say, yeah! Because if you were having fun, you were experiencing a bit of what we call drummer's high. I kid you not, that is an actual condition, but you can only experience drummer's high by being fully engaged in the performance. Not by reading about it, not by watching it on YouTube, not by wearing some sort of virtual helmet. It's the actual engagement that just gave you the following benefits. You just boosted your immune system, boosted your endorphins, made yourselves more acute. And 
and cute, <laughs> but there was something else going on, and this is critical. You were actively listening, and because you were actively listening, you were responding in real time, as opposed to reacting. When you react, you're playing old tapes, old memories, old prejudices. That weakens your power. When you're responding, you are present, and that strengthens your power. But unfortunately, this practice of active listening is getting lost in the fabric of today's communication with smartphones and the internet and these different apps and active listening truly is at the foundation for sustainable rock star performance so it'd be really great if i could get your agreement that for our very short period of time you would continue to actively listen if i can get your agreement say yeah okay i'm going to test you here we go Okay, I believe you. Now, last year, we finished a record-breaking stadium tour with Pink, 30 to 100,000 people per night. It was extraordinary. And a couple years before that, we did our very first stadium tour with Pink, and that was a wild ride. One, two, three. This was insane. We always ended with the song, So What? And she would do this outlandish aerial stunt we would call the 360, where she'd come running up from behind the stage wearing a little harness. She'd strut down to the front of the satellite stage where she'd be met by two dancers who would clip her in with two carabiner clips. And attached to each carabiner clip were two high-tension cables that would stretch across the entire audience. And when she'd give the signal to the computer operator, he would lift her up, and she goes soaring across the audience doing flips and turns and spins, speeds of up to 30, 35 miles an hour. What is that, about 55 kilometers? And she'd do drops of up to 30 feet. What is that, about 10 meters, right? <laughs> and she'd even circle around to the back of the audience so the people in the cheap seats could see the sweat on her brow. And one night we were in Germany. This audience was wild, the loudest audience I ever remember. And Pink was so excited, she ran down the runway right to the front of the stage. They clipped her in with the carabiner clips. She immediately lifted her arm to cue the computer operator. But what she didn't realize is one of the carabiner clips had been turned upside down. She was only hooked in on one side and the dancer didn't have a chance to warn her with so much panic. And in the two seconds it took the dude to hit the kill switch to stop the whole thing instead of getting lifted up over the audience. She got brutally and rapidly dragged across the satellite stage, across hot, lighting cans and she got yanked off of the stage a six foot drop two meter drop into what we call the pit and then she got pulled up against the metal side railing where i couldn't see her i think i was hyperventilating it was one of the most frightening moments of my life and then that audience was completely silent the band was completely silent she was dead silent i literally thought she was dead and then I heard the sweetest sound. It was the sound of pink cussing. If she was cussing, she was breathing, she was alive. She was angry, this was a great sign. But what happened next was totally unprecedented because her husband Carrie had come running down into the pit. She had Carrie help lift her back onto the stage. This poor woman was battered, bruised, broken. When she got on the stage, she was leaning on his shoulder because it looked like she had broken her leg her leg was up and then she very feebly said to the audience listen everybody I'm so sorry but I think I am too injured to perform the last song but I feel so bad I gotta make it up to you I'm willing to give everybody their money back with only one song left and by that point they had brought a stretcher onto the stage they hauled her off onto the stretcher and that audience was roaring louder than before oh my gosh i looked out into the eyes of some of the audience members they had tears in their eyes it brought tears to my eyes it was the moment we thought we lost pink but it was also the moment that i realized wow we know we cannot control what happens to us but it is the grace with which we recover from disruption, from adversity, from literally life-threatening situations, and our unyielding desire in spite of that
to provide what I call rock star service, rock star solutions, rock star communication. That's what determines the future of our relationships with our customers, with our associates, with our family. That's what determines the future of our business. So let's look at the way that Pink handled her situation. Now, I will tell you, any mere mortal, nonetheless, any artist, I don't know anybody else who would have done anything but just lie down there. Pink dragged herself back onto the stage. She was acutely aware of something that I learned recently, which is the chemistry for fear and excitement in the body are identical. It's our perception and our projection that determines our experience. So she fearlessly dragged herself back onto the stage. She couldn't even walk. And what's the first thing she does? She apologizes to the audience. Now, I will tell you, not one of the 200 125 people in that entire tour got reprimanded, lost their job because she took full responsibility. She took full culpability because that's what great leaders do. That's what great band members do. That's what great teammates do. We take care of our own. We take care of each other. And she offered a solution that was so outrageous, so outside the box, offering everybody their money back. But what I realized is the world class begins where our comfort zone ends. And I will tell you, not one person asked for their money back. And fortunately, the next day off, we, the next day of the show was a day off and she was battered. She was bruised, but there was speculation from management as to whether we'd even continue doing the 360 because it was just too darn high risk. Not to mention the insurance premium skyrocketed. But the following day, I will tell you, Pink had not one stitch of an iota of canceling the 360. As a matter of fact, just the opposite. She was excited. She got up and did the rig check during sound check herself. And that night we were back up doing so what? She was back up doing the 360. And to this day, it is still the show closer. And no matter anybody that I've asked, everybody agrees. It's the coolest show closer in the history of pop music. But I can't help to think to myself very often, what if she never crawled back on the stage? What if she never got back up into the 360? I'm sure that her career trajectory would have been completely different. And that was based on the decisions that she made. So what is at the foundation of this extraordinary performance? What activates rock star world-class performance? I will tell you, it is attitude. And I know a lot of you are thinking, really, drummer, that's the best you could do? Attitude? Attitude, schmattitude. I've been hearing about attitude my entire life. But before you turn this off, I am going to influence the way you think about attitude so you realize it's absolute power. But first, I want to congratulate each and every one of you as being the proud owner of your very own attitude because it's with you 100% of the time. It affects you. It infects you. It affects others. It infects others. It's highly contagious. But what makes attitude so extraordinary is we know we cannot control what happens to us as evidenced by the global pandemic and everything that we've all been going through. But no matter what is happening to you at any moment, I mean, right now, you have the power to change, control, shift, choose your attitude about what is happening to you. And this is incredibly power because you're it's incredibly powerful because your attitude is your point of view. I call it your vantage point or disadvantage point, depending upon the attitude that you choose, because you can choose that attitude. And remember, it's not what you're looking at. It's what you see and perceive. Your attitude is so powerful because it is how you define yourself and the world based on the stories that you tell yourself and the meaning that you attach to people, places, and circumstances. So what is your story? <laughs> is it a comedy? Is it a melodrama? Is it a murder mystery? But attitude is just the foundation of greatness.
because your attitude is what actually drives your behavior. Think about that. And one attitude can drive many behaviors. And your behavior is what determines the consequences of your life, personally and professionally. Think about that. Now, this is the rock star of performance formula. A times B equals C. Attitude times behavior equals consequence. This is the rock star hack for world class. That's why I'm certain I employ this every day in my life and I'm playing with the coolest artist on the planet. But I also understand that for most people, the default for our brains is safety, not excellence. But I want to ask you one last question. When you hear about a formula like this that can potentially literally change your life forever, are you interested or are you committed? Because if you're interested, well, you know, you might try it. You might think of some story as to why it's not going to work for you. Whereas if you are committed, you just do it. And that is what hacking the rock star attitude is. My friends, thank you so much for your commitment. I'm so honored and grateful to have been here with you. And I'm going to play you just one more bit of rock and roll, a very short pink medley. Mwah! Be a stupid girl Well, I've seen Mark with Big, but I've never seen a presentation like this before. Hey, that Shulman dude really rocks. <laughs> well, I think it was okay, but a bit loud. Wow, I think I just got an attitude makeover. That was totally rad. <laughs> that was slicker than whiskey on a doorknob. See y'all later. See y'all later. Bye. Bye.